The head of the CDC was in the hot seat today. We have reported here on World News about those three close calls uncovered in just one month. Scares at the nation's top labs, anthrax, smallpox, and a deadly strain of the flu. Tonight here, word of a new scare, a fourth just revealed. How is the CDC chief explaining it all? ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila right there with his own questions after the hearing. A new blow to the reputation of federal labs. If finding 60-year-old smallpox virus in an old FDA refrigerator wasn't bad enough, today it was revealed also inside that same forgotten space, 12 boxes of carefully packaged but deadly germs from dengue to Q fever. The director of the Centers for Disease Control grilled today about lax storage, the accidental shipment of deadly avian flu, and transporting within the CDC potentially lethal anthrax in Ziploc bags. What in heaven's name would go through the minds of some scientists thinking a Ziploc bag is enough to protect someone from anthrax? Dr. Thomas Frieden made few excuses. Completely unacceptable, deeply troubling problems inadequate culture of safety. Agreeing that his agency missed a broad pattern of safety lapses. We need to greatly improve the culture of safety. Specifically, the CDC has temporarily stopped shipping biological specimens like dangerous avian flu, closed the flu and bioterrorism labs, both involved in high profile mistakes, and appointed a senior scientist to oversee safety issues. How do you expect to get the trust of America back? The scientific work we do is at the highest standards, and we'll make sure that the safety work at CDC is also at the highest standard. The CDC director is saying some scientists are too comfortable with dangerous organisms, a lax attitude he vows to change. Jim Avila, ABC News, Capitol Hill.